Okay, I'm going to do another dirty cup, double cup, flip cup, um, kind of uh, ocean swirl. This time I'm using quinacridone magenta, teal, Jenkins green, phthalo blue red shade, and these are all golden acrylic, golden fluid acrylic paint. I find these very thin, so I only add maybe a third of the amount of Benjamin Moore paint extender and then right now I'm going to put a few drops of isopropyl alcohol in each cup as well. Shouldn't be colored <laughs> but that's okay. It gets all mixed together. So always starting with my white, a little layer of that in each of the double cups. Okay, I'm going to start with the teal next. And then my dark green. This blue really takes over. I'm trying to figure out just the right amount so that it doesn't take over. I haven't put in any of this magenta yet, so now it's time for that. Hopefully it'll swirl together with that blue and make a beautiful purple. Um, more teal. beautiful pattern right inside the cup. Finish them off with white. A bit more green. I want these cups to be fairly full, so I think I'm going to add a bit more white. So now you can watch. That's just um, Opus Essential Acrylic Colors in Titanium White. And this is my Benjamin Moore Paint Extender and I put about a third of the amount in there until I'm happy with the consistency. I want it to be milky between milk, the texture of milk and cream. And fill these cups up a bit. I'm going to do a little stick swirl in that one. Let's see what difference it makes. I'm not going to do the stick swirl in this one. So here's the dirty cup flip cup. This is the swirl side. This is the unswirl side. Now I want to the dividing line, uh, some more white between the two pores. So I just take my food acrylic, make a bit of a dividing line, and some white up here. And this time I'm not going to just let it sit like that. I'm going to take my craft stick and flatten it out a bit because this paint is still fully um, the thickened version. And I don't want it to stick out from the canvas when it dries. So I'm just going to flatten it out a bit. will self-level a little, so it don't have to be too particular. But I don't want standing out hugely. So it will control the pour a little bit. 
but it, the pour might go right over top of it and that's okay because I can raise it up a little bit. Ooh, I like that. Oh yeah, that is crazy. Oh, I'm so glad I added the quinacridone magenta. Huh. It's like a butterfly. That is crazy. I love what that is doing. Wow. I'm going to bring you down here so you can see better. There's such a bunch of cool veins and things. So beautiful. Wow. Just gonna let that settle. I hate tipping it. Tipping it helps to get into the corners, but I just really love what's going on there. Okay, so I just need to get the paint to come into the corners. Um, so I'm not gonna tip it. I hate tipping it gets rid of all this beautiful stuff. So I'm just going to help it a little bit with my finger, just giving it an edge to pour, to flow into. That's pretty much it. There's so much paint on this canvas that it's all I really need to do is just help it a bit. And it starts flowing down over the edge a bit. Yep, just like that. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it be its beautiful self. And then the straw is really helpful. Really helpful. To uncover some of that white paint that I left underneath. I like the contrast of the of the white coming through. So I'm trying to get it to come up. Should blow this direction to get the white white to go onto the canvas. blow pretty hard. Just on the, the white, the, uh, the fluid acrylic uh, moves quite easily. I'm going to um, make sure that the edges get covered and then I will show you what it looks like when it's all dry. Here's what it looks like when it dried. I think it could use some more contrast in the painting. Uh, more white would have been nice. So I'm going to try that next time. Please subscribe to see some more videos and have fun painting.